everyone, it's Miss Frodo. And Domo. And we are here with the Lego Batman movie Clayface Splat Attack. We're going to try to get the Joker Lowrider up before this one because uh, I'm really bad at getting stuff out in order and in a timely fashion. Well, but yeah. uh, <laughs> we did talk about the Lego movie and how we liked it in that one, so uh, check out the, the Joker Lowrider. We'll also probably blab about it in this one because we like it so much. We'll try not to do spoilers. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't have to say anything, just enjoy what it looks like. So if no one knows, this is Clayface, and I'm going to be a bad comic book guy. I can't remember the original name of, uh, he was a, the, the character was an actor at one point, and he started using, like, this type of, uh, like, makeup on him uh, to, like, keep himself youthful and look a certain way. But the problem is, like, I guess some weird accident happened, he used way too much of it. It was like, you know, encased in it, depending on where you watch it, whether it was uh, Batman animated series or in the actual, um, what do you call it, in the comic books. His, like, his lore kind of changes, I think, from those two sources. But essentially, he turns into this, like, amorphous blob character that can, uh, you know, shape shift into different things, which he's doing here. He has a big, huge hammer. Yeah. And let's check out the back. Which we didn't do in the the Lego okay. Joker. They're gonna see it when it's put together. That's a good point. So you have a cool little action shot holding on to the mayor, and that's not a spoiler. They said her name on the front, Mayor McCaskill. McCaskill. Mayor McCaskill. She they has, just sort of call her the mayor. <laughs> she kind of has kind of like a, like a fake tan kind of look going on to with her. Well, I don't know. We'll have to see if she's actually a different color from normal Lego. <laughs> well, she's not yellow. Right. 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 And so this shows kind of what you can do with them. So you have, you know, he's very poseable. And he has a little, you know, shooter hand. It's showing that you have the two different types of hands. And you can, like, you know, take things off. And it looks like, I think, like, I don't know how poseable he is. I was reading a couple of um, comments, like, they, they wasn't as poseable as they thought they would be. he would be looking at this. Because um, I don't think the mouth really moves from what I can tell. No, it doesn't look like but that. But well. you can make him angry or sad just by changing the position of the eyes looking at it. So. That's cool. <laughs> and so, like, um, he's Clayface, so theoretically you could just take him all apart and um, he'd still be Clayface. And for the month of February, at least at this point, I'm not sure if it'll change, when you get anything from the, um, from the LEGO website, you get this uh, limited edition LEGO Batman movie poster. So, you know, Wilna Arnett is Batman from the team that assembled the Lego movie, which is cute the way he said it. So you just have, do, 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 do. You have this, and then on the bottom it says, back in black and yellow. <laughs> oh, we could have seen it in IMAX. That would have been sweet. But it's a nice little poster. What is it, about two feet by one and a half? Uh, two feet by one and a half yeah. or so, I'd guess. It's kind of hard to tell exactly the dimensions, but... It's a nice little poster. There's a nice uh, little collector's item for me. Alright, and... Ooh. Lots of... Oops, hello. Okay, so that's all there is in there. Alright, so... Looks like we get one instruction booklet. And... Let's see. Oh, they're all numbered one through four. So we got one. Looks like I get Mary McCaskill in there. Two. And it looks like a, that looks like Batman's utility belt, as far as I can tell. And I see Batman's head. Do you? Oh, I see him, yeah. It kind of, he kind of looks like a weird, like, uh, warrior guy with some sort of, uh, like, face paint on. With that black. He's got, it's like he's got a ninja headband yeah, okay. on, but just kind of low. What yeah. are those things called? Like a Hachi, Hachimori? I, I don't know. You're the one who watches Kung Fu. <laughs> Uh, number three. Yeah, I'm kind of low on sleep, so the brain power is pretty weak right now. <laughs> Bag number four. Oh, there's some cool pieces. Yeah. Like the really rocky. Alright. It's going to be sweet. So, yeah, he's going to be intense, and there's a lot of small pieces I'm noticing, especially like the shooting pieces, so I envision those getting eaten by our dog very quickly. Yeah, we're going to do our best not to. <laughs> She's a good girl. She won't do that. She's a good girl. She'll like the Lego pieces. They're yeah, tasty. Yeah, yeah. We'll just have to make sure that the small ones, I suppose, will pass easier. <laughs> okay, so we're back. And from the build. And it turned out really fun. This is one of the more fun 
builds I've done in a really long time. It's really enjoyable. Lots of cool little pieces here and there. Really good details. And it, the, the result is awesome. And after reading a couple reviews, I, I saw one that said that you know they didn't think he was as posable as they thought he could be. I think he's quite posable. All right, so let's show off the minifigs first. You know? Yeah, here you go. So here is Batman with his <coughs> battering. I like his, I like his face. He's awesome. Oh, and he has Abs. another face too. Grr. He has a nice smug face. And I do, um, I do like the, the material for his cape. It's not that really yeah. rough. It's really nice and billowy and pliable. It's, Very nice. Yeah, it's, it's not like the other caves they've used for the series. Caves, capes, yeah. Capes. Mm -hmm. And then we have the mayor, and she looks awfully happy for what's going on to her right now. <laughs> kind of looks like she's a little orange from like, maybe like, you know, sun tanning a bit. And if we take off her hair, boop, she does have at least have a reasonably <laughs> worried face. So since she's stuck in this uh, clay, let's eep. She's like the mayor from, uh, what do you call it, from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's spin the head around. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. She can call in for help for Batman. Help me! Although she should have, instead of a walkie-talkie, she should have, like, the bat signal, but... Well, only commi the commissioners always have Oh, those. that's right, that's right. Okay, so go ahead. Alrighty, so here's, here's Clayface. He is heavy. He could really, he's got a, a real heft to him. And he has, a, he has a, two of these arms, which is like a little Gatling gun. Uh, you can kind of see... Here's the extra one. Yep, so you do definitely get a second one. And... Um, you, he has his little hands here. He does use it in the movie. He does shoot, and if we just turn it. Oh, no. Okay, well, I missed the backboard. We'll never find that one ever again, oh, which is which is fine. Oh, we found it? Oh, it's nice. Right here. There's plenty of extras in this one. <laughs> that shot pretty far. But it shoots far. them. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a little different from, like, most of the other guns where you have, like, you can kind of see where this one normally would have it. You have this little... A uh, plastic piece you push to shoot them individually. If you look closely, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see. On this side here, that uh, so you have that dark, you have that lighter brown, then you have that silver. That silver piece to here, there's a little tiny lip. So when it pulls across, it shoots off. I'm not gonna shoot myself in the face right now. So uh, that's how this how this uh, mechanism works. It's really nice. Now, the only part it's not so great, I mean, they, they weren't ever to cover all the sides, but if you did, it would be so bulky, you couldn't get his hands down. It would be out like, out like this. So, I think they did a good job for what they had uh, to make it uh, playable. Whoops. What was that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, he's Clayface. Chunks of him do fall off. That's very true. That's very true. Let me fix that. That is part of being Clayface. You leave bits behind. <laughs> and I, I think my favorite part, this is the cool, one of the cooler pieces I've ever seen. It has a nice rock texture to it. Um, again, gives them that nice ooh, clay look. And then over here, we have the big old hammer. So you can just like, come down and smash stuff. I like that, man. Anyway. <laughs> and um, his arms are, are what's nice about him is the, um, the articulation um, will stay where you put it. Kind of snaps into place, so it kind of helps hold things where you want to pose them. His legs are just like a, a ball joint, so you have a little more freedom with it, but it doesn't lock into space. And he has little tiny, corgi like stub legs. And then the face, what I find, if you see down here, it has a well, it hooks into the back here, so you can look up and around a little bit. And this piece here actually keeps his mouth from opening too much, so it puts it like in the proper position. So you just push down this part of his lip, and everything kind of fits into place. And if you want to make him angry, boop. Boop. you just have to switch where the eyes go. Now he's an angry guy. Or you can make him happy. Yeah. Is it perfect? No, but now it looks like he has a little mustache. He still has angry eyes. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, let me change it too. I'll go back. Now he has a lovable lug look to him. 
But yeah, he's definitely very postable. He's reasonably solid and ba uh, balanceable. I, uh, yeah. He's Just... sort of built like a gorilla, so he's more stable if he rests on his front hands. Like right. Gorillas do. So if you want, yeah, you can kind of bend him down. But he stands pretty well just like that, and because of how hefty his body is and how short his legs are, his center of gravity is pretty low, so you can extend his arms out like that without a problem. Am I even on camera? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, and I broke my hand off. Oh, no. <laughs> Isn't that what he does? He shoots him and chops pits off right. until there's, like, no bits left of him. <laughs> that seems awfully mean. I'm the bad man. Well, he's a bad guy. That's what he's supposed to do. But look at that face. How could you hate that? He looks so happy. Hey, why'd you take my hand off? You guys! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Horde. Bye!